Good evening, I'm Scott Hennessy. And I'm Beth Farnsworth. We begin with power shutoffs in the Santa Maria Valley. As News Channel reporter Christina Rodriguez reports, these outages were planned due to high fire danger. A brush fire burned 80 acres on Thursday near the Santa Maria Riverbed. To prevent fires like this, PG&E is taking action. Power was shut off Friday for people in the Santa Maria Valley. The Elks Lodge was transformed into a resource center on Friday afternoon. They've set up tents uh, out there for customers that are affected uh, by the outages that need charging stations. They can come and use those and they have snacks and, and all that and information. About 159 customers were impacted. Power was shut off for people living east of the river and southeast of the Twitchell Reservoir. It's a safe location where they can get their basic power needs met, such as charging medical equipment and electronic devices. They need to charge their phone. They need to contact their family to make sure, you know, they're, they're aware of their whereabouts. The scheduled shutoffs are deemed necessary by weather conditions. PG&E meteorologists will go and, and look and see if there's a weather event coming. So across the state, there are about 16,000 customers who are going through this PSPS, this temporary planned outage, because they could be in a high risk of wildfires. Friday's shutoff was triggered by strong winds and dry conditions near Santa Maria. In 2022, we didn't shut the power off for anyone statewide. And so there will be years where we'll have, you know, a lot less rain and then there will be that higher risk of wildfire. And then that's when we implement the PSPS outages. The Independent Living Resource Center is offering support to seniors and people with disabilities. In Santa Maria, I'm News Channel reporter Christina Rodriguez.